But let's go in and pick up the conversation now. Well, it's scheduled for 10 rounds, and it's in the middleweight division. The judges, Richard F. Murray, Frank Brunette, and William Castro. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee Frank Cappuccino. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10 round middleweight bout, referee Rudy Battle. And our boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim, he tipped in at an even 162 pounds. This young man, is a native of Managua, Nicaragua, and now residing in Miami, Florida, with a record of 52 wins and 7 losses with 27 knockouts. The former World Boxing Association Junior Middleweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Eddie Gazzo. Gazzo. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim, he weighed in at an even 156 pounds. This young man is undefeated in 18 professional bouts with 18 knockouts. All the way from London, England. Ladies and gentlemen, here is John, the Beast Mugabe. Mugabe. John Mugabe, who calls himself the Beast, and he uses that nickname affectionately coming off a first round knockout in Tampa of Don Morgan back on the 16th of September. That knockout string, 18 fights, 18 knockouts. Mugabe won the 1980 Olympic silver medal in Moscow following a magnificent amateur career that began at the age of 12. And he's going up against a 33-year-old out of Managua, Nicaragua, who now lives in Miami, Eddie Gazzo. One-time junior middleweight champ back in 1977. And uh, Gazzo successfully defended his title four times, but Ferdy Gazzo, a guy on the way down in his prime. He had good movement, moved well, side to side, technician, not a knockout puncher. And uh, John Mugabe, I'm sure, senses another early knockout. Well, certainly uh, etched on his face as many years and many mileage in the uh, ring highway. Gazzo is, has taken his fight on short notice to compete to compound the uh, difficulties. And Gazzo looking to stay far away from Mugabe. Not moving with lightning-like speed. Gazzo's slow, he's trying to move away. Referee is Rudy Battle. One thing about Mugabe, he likes to get in and out of there fast. He does not like to hang around long. One of the factors that I think uh, we have to look forward to if he gets past this fight uh, in Tampa in our upcoming NBC fight where he faces a man who's never been down, Curtis Parker. What will he do when he Parker's still there in the fifth, the sixth, the seventh round? John Mugabe yet to be extended past the sixth round. We telecast his bout against the veteran, uh, Gary Guyton, who went down in round three. And many times in between the opening bell and round three. And we're midway through this opening round scheduled for 10. Thus far, Mugabe is having difficulty getting to Gaza, who continues to stay away. No question about it, Gazzo fighting a survival fight, just fighting to stay away, not fighting an offensive fight. Mugabe much more patient than I have seen him uh, in his previous encounters where he just comes roaring out. He must feel like he needs the work. Gazzo's last fight. August 16th, fourth round knockout of Lino Kahina down in Miami. Two hard shots just then by Mugabe rocked Ed Gazzo. But he's got that veteran's caginess. Certainly knows how to elude and how to survive. And coming up on 15 seconds left in this first round. So, 
Ed Gazzo able to last it out in round one. Get yourself a second. Sit down. Good evening. You all right? Yeah. John, when he leads, when he leads, there's a gun mouth. When he leads, he goes back, cross him with the right hand. When he leaves the jail, he'll be short. Cross him with the right hand. Otherwise, everything's okay. All right? You catch him in the middle, I've no problem. When he goes down, bring your punches out like that. All right? Don't wish him over the top. Food is sent. I don't know over the top. Okay? Well, we've been doing Cut him off a little bit, John, because he's running from you. Cut across. <laughs> bring him back onto the hook, okay? Yeah, a little bit busier. Yeah. Breathe in. That's all right. You're good at look. It took a look. It's okay. 15 seconds. Get up to him and don't throw your punch. Four. 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 Back in Atlantic City, New Jersey, this is round two. And John Mugabe was told between rounds, cut him off. Mickey Duff saying, uh, you'll catch him just a matter of time. Because all Gazzo has been doing is running. It's Gazzo in the blue and Mugabe in the white. Break. Break. Step back. Turn and move. Step back. Come on out. You got the definite feeling Mugabe is holding back. It was, wasn't the typical Mugabe we've seen just come roaring out and finish somebody. This is more like him here. It's more like the way John Mugabe fights when he just pressures and continues to punch. <laughs> the last time... Oh! Mugabe just did miss with the left hand. The last time Mugabe lost the fight was as an amateur fighting for the gold. In Moscow, he lost to Antonius Aldama of Cuba. And back in 1976, it was Sugar Ray Leonard victorious over Aldama to win the gold medal at the Olympics in Montreal. You have to say, Eddie Gaza is one of the oldest looking fighters you've seen in the ring in the recent years. But of course, now with the uh, waterfall of fighters coming out of retirement to fight, like uh, Jim. Have not been able to connect. Mugabe humming in some zingers to the body, which is. Caving in, Eddie Ga uh, Gazzo. Break, 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 step out, step out. Right hand that uh, Gazzo was able to land, but very limited punching power, even in Gazzo's prime. That was not his, one of his positives. <laughs> The grunting you're hearing with each one of those punches is Mugabe as he throws the punch, not Gazo as he receives it. Break. Step out, step back. Turn loose, turn loose. Gazo doing uh, what all veterans do, sticking his head in there. And that time, Mugabe was able to land to the head as the second round comes to a close. It's okay, you catch him in a minute. You own him, Dan. It's fine. It's very... You catch him in a minute. John, shoot up inside. You know? Yeah. Make him yeah. the room where your mood will shoot up. You think? Goggle? You catch him in a second. Yeah. It's over there, John. Right? Yeah. Good. Keep the pressure. Push, push, right? Cut him off. Don't follow him round. Straight out. Seconds out. Take the stool. Yeah, stay back. Stay back on the Five seconds. And this is round three. John Mugabe comes out to meet up with Eddie Gazzo. <laughs> Mugabe, 23 years old. Out of Uganda, now living in London, England. Record of 18-0, all 18 by knockout. 
And you get the feeling it's just a matter of time. As Eddie Gazzo, a 33-year-old out of Nicaragua, now living in Miami, has just been looking towards survival to this point. Certainly been all a Mugabe, and of course, in Mugabe's favor, most of his fights end up around here, around the third round. He seems to just get his motion going, and he's uh, incredibly sharp and accurate with his punches. The effects seem to uh, be cumulative, and in the third round, people gave in. Gazzo now wincing with every body blow. He's softened him up to the body. Referee Rudy Battle telling him, keep him up. <laughs> Little stutter step move by John Mugabe. Mugabe's bounce scoring has uh, not been a consideration of that he has been an efficient knockout artist, but scoring in the state of New Jersey is on the round system. If the round is even, they go to five points to break the deadlock and the scoring handled by three judges. The referee does not take part. Midway point, third round. Oh, strong right hand by Mugabe. Made Gazzo blink. Gazzo beginning to have a good swelling right under the right eye. He has high cheekbones anyway. Mugabe trying to load up too much on that one punch. He is not punching in combinations. The corner is not happy with it. He's been hollering one, two, one, two. He either jabs and doesn't follow with the right or just throws one punch and lets it go. He has to punch in combination. Certainly he's going to have to do better than this against Curtis Parker on November the 12th in Tampa on NBC because Parker swarms all over you. Mugabe has been known to have what can be labeled as a mean streak in the ring, which has added to his prowess in finishing an opponent, but uh, no signs of that here today. Uh, I'm wondering how seriously he's taking Eddie Gazzo. Well, considering he didn't even know who he was fighting until yesterday, <laughs> I think he took him too seriously. You're saying Eddie Gazzo's photo was not pinned up on his locker. <laughs> no, he didn't spend a lot of time psyching himself up. It wasn't hawk time. And we're final seconds in what has not been one of the thrillers. Did that jab work and you're walking in, you're not using your jabs. Jab no. first, okay, John? John, listen, if you go after him just throwing, he's, he's experienced and he ducks. But if you put some good jabs first, then you will catch him with the others. Do you understand? If you just go after him with one punch, he's experienced. And he's not trying to win, he's just trying to last the distance. Do you understand? But if you stick a good jab first, then you will have him in trouble. All right? All right. Try it now. In behind the okay. in behind the jab, right? In behind the jab, John. Cut him off and let some punches go to the body and to the head, okay? So work with your jab. Don't just walk in. Jab first on the chest. Moves, cut him off. Come on, with a jab. Only five previous opponents have lasted to the fourth round and add Eddie Gazzo to that list. Although uh, you cannot say it has been an impressive performance by Gazzo. That's John Mugabe in the white and Eddie Gazzo in the blue. When a veteran fighter comes in uh, to fight for survival, not to win the fight, but just to survive, you get this kind of a fight. Uh, it's a, it's a type of uh, fight a Mugabe needs to settle him down and go distance. And for Ghazi, it's a show up. It's a payday. It's a payday. He is definitely in the twilight years of his career. He is a senior citizen's champion of boxing. Back in 1977, he was the WBA junior medaway champion and successfully defended that title four times. Oh, he has been in the ring with uh, some good ones. Not faring well against those fighters. Knocked out by Thomas Hearns in the first round. But an illustration that Gazzo has been around. 
minute gone by in this fourth round. And Mugabe looking to land with solid blows. Those are strong hooks after that right hand and he's putting in there. Whereas uh, Gazzo doesn't have a punch at all. Has break, break. no offensive power, nothing to scare off Mugabe. Mugabe can walk right through anything he's got. What he has to do is punch in combinations, which he has not been doing. He's got to follow a jab in there. He's jabbing now. He's got to follow that jab with the right hand, and that's where the knockout comes. Right hand and the hook afterwards. Break, you're holding and hitting. Break, 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 break. Step out. Three moving. Good night. This Mugabe's ninth bout in the United States has fought his last four in the States. And he's been fighting very regularly, almost once a month. He's a fighter. Oh, that was a good right hand by Mugabe. Mugabe likes to oh, Gaza's really looking to run. Now. He's hurt, and he's really looking to run. Gazzo trying to hang on. Got clipped in that last flurry. 45 seconds left in this fourth round. Gabi has not been able to land cleanly, but we may see that very shortly as Gazzo continues to try and slip, and he, he slipped down. Two, his legs are going on. Three, his legs are going on. Four, he, he, he I guess I'll see the punch, Ferdy. No, there wasn't a punch. He's indicating that his ankle has gone on him. See? He's indicating that his ankle uh, went on him. It's academic. It's academic. Didn't make any difference. He's on the, he is on the way, but there was no punch. Yes, this will not make the John Mugabe highlight right. film. <laughs> it's what's called an ankle knockdown. Good. He ran, he ran. But it is all over in round four. And we'll get another look at it. Let's take a look at it. You can see his legs were already collapsing. His knees were collapsing on him. He just couldn't. There it goes. Did you see it quiver there? Good experience. Yeah, Mugabe did not land with that uh, left uppercut. It wasn't a punch. It, it definitely did a, a quiver. Now, if, just keep your eye. He just did it right there. You see, there was no... You couldn't see that on a uh, on the replay. The camera was not low enough. On the other shot, we did see how the uh, uh, ankle gave way. One in between. Go up and get him now. So it is all over. Four fights to go, sir. John Mugabe. Makes it a record of 19 at 0. All 19 by knockout, although this not a bout that will uh, distinguish either fight. No, it's the kind of work that uh, Mugabe needs. Oh, the fourth, oh. All right. Yeah. It was. Uh, we're in trouble. To do if we're in trouble, you have to, you know, you, yeah, you have it. to go for, for I, the. For the very the end. only thing is we were very honest. Yeah. You know, that's all you can say. You know, yeah, yeah. I skip the first two rounds if you can. But if you really need it, uh, it's it's better to show him having this kind of time than it is on that stupid undercover, the guy four and one, you know? Yeah. That's right. Oh, sure. That's no, no, right. No, no, you have to that's still right. show him. We, we've got, yeah. But I'll, I'll revoice that pack. You, do you want to do it live? Do it now? Want to do it now? has retained his world 135 pounds his professional record 19